starters first for the Vincity Zebras of Rochester. Starting at guard, a 5 5 freshman, number two, Aubrey Wilson. And another guard, a 5 foot junior, number three, Riley Clevinger. And a 4, a 5 10 freshman, number 15, Jacob Field. And the other 4, a 5 10 junior, number 25, Audrey Bollinger. And a guard, a 5'10 junior, number 33, Ella McCarter. The head coach for the Zebras is Joel Burris, assisted by Jake Nye, Nate Basham, and Joe McCarter. I, Fulton County Solid Waste District. Don't trash our future, please recycle for the Whitco Wildcats. They will start a freshman, or excuse me, a senior, or junior, number one, Gwen Howard. A senior, number 12, Chloe Craig. A freshman, number 21, Jama Stonebreaker. A sophomore, number 25, Reese Stonebreaker. And a junior, number 44, Andrea Phillips will be the five starters for the Whitco Wildcats. As you heard Coach Burris give the Rochester starting lineup the normal five, the freshman, Aubrey Wilson, the junior, Riley Clevenger, freshman, Jaden Field, juniors, Aubrey Bollinger, Audrey Bollinger, and Ella McCarter in the starting lineup for the Rochester Zebras. Val joins us now here, Val. A busy day for you uh, all over the place. Rochester, Winco, back to Rochester. Yeah, uh, I'm really uh, very interested in this game. I think the key is going to be, uh, for Whitco's standpoint, they have got to keep Rochester off the offensive boards. I would imagine if Coach Jordan, if he saw the film in that R Plymouth Rochester game, he saw Rochester yeah. going nuts on the offensive boards in the third quarter. Uh, he probably lost them a little bit of sleep. They've got to keep Jaden Field and Audrey Bowling off the boards in this game, and, well, Ellen McCarter as well. Uh, as for Rochester, they've got you know, closeouts. That's the big word. Make sure they close out on those three-point shooters. And... There we at Rochester High School. Give me your headset. I will fix that real quick there. Caleb's going to take it up and under. We get ready to go here for the this afternoon as the Zebras will be battling against the Whitco Wildcats. Underneath the, the, the cord. As there's the tip controlled by Whitco. Whitco has the basketball. That's going to be Stonebreaker with it. Stonebreaker, Jameson Stonebreaker, under the white cord. It's, it's caught. And it's thrown out of bounds. Turnover to the Wildcats here. Yeah, that one. That's all right. As the Zebras will get the ball back now after the turnover. As uh, we'll have it here with the basketball at the other end. McCarter with it. McCarter has the basketball. Now off to Wilson. Wilson in the paint. Now over to uh, Clevenger. Back to Wilson. There you go. Now you don't have to bend over so far. Here's McCarter on the other side with it. McCarter back to Clevenger, top of the key. Clevenger around the right side, a baby hook up off the mark, no good. And the rebound comes away to Whitco. Whitco with the basketball. Whitco on the far side, three on the way from Phillips is off the mark, no good. And the rebound comes away to Bollinger. Bollinger has it. Good start defensively for Rochester. Turnover by Whitco and then a really bad shot. As a jump ball, it'll be possession to the Zebras. Kind of almost a state championship caliber officiating crew here today. So it'll be Wilson with a basketball to inbound right in front of Coach Burris. Gets it into McCarter. It's uh, Justin Shippey. He's officiated to state finals, has he not? Uh, I believe so. McCarter with a basketball. McCarter being guarded tightly. Now gives it off to Clevenger. Clevenger. To Wilson, right side. Wilson around her defender. Goes up, throws up a short shot. Rebound knocked around, and Whitco comes away with it. That's Howard out to a Jameis Stonebreaker. Ball's knocked loose. Stonebreaker's on the floor. And we're going to tie her up, and it'll go to Whitco. And we're going to have our first substitution of the afternoon already. And uh, why is the clock going? Because they forgot to stop it. <laughs> There were about 11 seconds between yeah. the time that the jump ball was called and Brokey. the ball was inbounded, and that just broke. He was in the, wasn't the one that entered. They go down low to Howard. Howard has it, kicks it back out. It's going to be last touched by Field. It'll stay with Whitco. 
Hey, the good news is they stopped at that time. Okay. Gwen Howard is a very long and athletic player. She's, uh, she, you know, I would imagine she'll be guarding Ella McCarter a lot of the time in this game. And she's, uh, it almost heights on the program. She's every bit of, what, six feet, six one. Stonebreaker with it, has it uh, thrown in the backcourt, and it's going to be a turnover on Whitco. And Coach Jordan told me when I talked to him during the JV game, he was concerned about the start of this because they've been off and they haven't played since December 22nd. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, so he wasn't sure how I, they were going to react. I see his concern. Yeah. Here's McCarter throwing up a shot. No good. Rebound. Knocked. Nice job by Jaden Field. She couldn't get to it, so she throws it back. Whitco wasn't prepared for it and goes off the Whitco Wildcat. It'll stay with the Zebras underneath their own basket. 5.46 to go in here, open the quarter, scoreless. They're letting them play as that one goes into McCarter's, throws up a shot, no good. Tip from behind into the hands of Bollinger. That was uh, Bracconi who was yeah. subbed into the game. She made a nice defensive play, and then she made a bad offensive play. Clevenger <laughs> with it. Clevenger straight away, three, good. And the Zubas take the first score of the ball game, and they lead three to nothing with 5.20 to go here in the opening quarter. Again, her ability to do damage off the dribble, a big part of Riley Clevenger's success this year. Phillips over to Stone, over to Stonebreaker. Now down low to Howard, her layup up and good. Nice pass by Phillips. Gwen Howard has two, and it's three to two with 5.05 to go. Here's the ball knocked loose, stolen by Baroki. Baroki's pass, then stolen by McCarter. And here's McCarter, gives it off to Clevenger on the far sideline. Clevenger still dribbling, now she's double teamed, gets it off to Bollinger. Bollinger, cross court pass over to Wilson. Wilson has it, top of the key to McCarter, swing it left side now to Clevenger. With going a man. 4.40 to go here in the opening quarter. 3-2 Zebras on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. McCarter, left side, three foot behind the line, no good. Howard with a rebound. That one was short off the front of the iron. Quickly ahead to Bracconi. Now the cutting is Stonebreaker. They get it to her. Her shot goes up, no good. Howard with a rebound. Her shot, no good. Rebound to field. Uh, Aubrey Wilson got away with a foul there. She, yeah. she pushed the Whitco player in the back. But These officials are uh, definitely going to let him play, at least here in the first quarter. Yeah. Clevenger has it. Now over to McCarter. McCarter, top of the key, penetrates in, kicks yeah. it back out to Clevenger. Again, it, she... it's just hard to get a shoulder by Howard. Yeah. You're going to have to get set some screens to get Ella open. Wilson into the free throw line, kicks it back out to McCarter. McCarter into the paint. McCarter, wraparound pass down low to Bullinger, up and good. Pretty pass by yeah. Ella. Five to two, Zebras lead with 3.45 to go here in the opening quarter. Stonebreaker with the basketball on the far side. Now they give it up to Phillips, now this side to Craig. Craig penetrates in, Craig to Howard, down low, her shot up and good. Five to four. Don't really think of Chloe Creek for her passing, she's much more of a, known as a shooter, but. Pressure put on the backcourt, stolen by Rochester, tipped by Wilson. Wilson picks it up in the backcourt, up for the shot, no good. Blocked by Howard, and it'll be out of bounds to the Zebras underneath their own basket. Yeah, that wasn't gonna that wasn't gonna turn out well for Aubrey and for the Rochester to retain possession here. That's about as best as you could hope for. Jameis Stonebreaker back into the contest. Bracconi sits down into McCarter, misses it. Rebound fought for. Jump ball, it'll stay with Rochester. McCarter with another rebound. Got a nice shot off the inbounds. Yeah, just, just didn't get it to fall. Then got a playoff two feet. Field will inbound. And, okay, we had a whistle or a horn. Thought maybe somebody was coming in. Field to inbound. Looking, looking, looking. Still get, uh, finally gets it into Clevenger. Now to Wilson. Wilson around the screen, gives it to Clevenger. Clevenger into the paint, picks it up, back out to McCarter. To Wilson, tipped out of bounds by Jameis Stobringer. Five to four with three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Zebras lead on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Into the backcourt, here's Clevenger. Now she'll bring it across, double teamed by the Stonebreakers. Tipped around, stolen by Reese. Reese ahead to Jama, layup, up and good. Whitco takes their first lead of the contest, six to five. Here's press put on again by the Whitco. They, Zebras break it easily this time. Down goes Wilson. 
Now top the key to Clevenger. Back over to McCarter. Three on the way for Ella Good. You saw her get her feet set. And now it's eight to six, Zebra's yeah. lead. And that is a good sign because that will yes. that'll yeah. lead to more drives later on in the game. Here is Craig up the middle, no good. And a rebound to Field. Out to Wilson, she breaks it across the timeline. Now she'll wait on the rest of her teammates and give it up to Clevenger. Left side, here's McCarter again, same spot. Short this time, Bollinger with a rebound. Bollinger up, blocked by Howard. Picked up by Jamis Stonebreaker. Ahead to Phillips, back to Stonebreaker, over to Reese. Reese, deep three on the way, no good. Jamison, Jamo Stonebreaker with a rebound, partially blocked by Field. She gets the rebound. Boy, Jamis Stonebreaker is an absolute ninja out there. She comes out of nowhere, <laughs> whether it's on the boards or defensively. Yeah. Uh, how tall is she? Maybe like 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, uh, She's about Riley's height. Yeah. But very quick. Here is McCarter with it. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger. Guarded by Jamis Stonebreaker, down low to Bollinger. Bollinger backs her way in, up and good. Audrey Bollinger. She's got four of the 10 for the Zebras. They lead it 10 to six. Right side is Reese Stonebreaker. She brings it to the near side, now to Phillips. Phillips in the left corner. Now over the top, she gives it up to Craig. Back to Phillips, three on the way for her. Off the back of the iron, ball's tipped and picked up by Field. Four rebounds already for Jaden Field. Ahead to Wilson. Boy, Phillips was a good three feet behind the line yeah. there, at least. Yeah, Coach Burr said in the pregame that they're not afraid to shoot him that far back and got to be ready for those rebounds. You never know where they're going to go. Ball's tipped by Jameis Stonebreaker into the backcourt. Wilson goes and gets it with 40 seconds to go. Zebras lead 10 to 6. Clevenger with it. Whitco with the next arrow. Wilson has it, and she's going to be fouled on a reach in by... Jama Stonebreaker, going to be her first, team first of the quarter. And coming in will be Racconi. She'll come in for Phillips. And for the first time here this afternoon, Braylon Hunter will check in for Aubrey Wilson. They get it to McCarter. McCarter has it with 35 seconds. McCarter, left side. Top of the key now to Clevenger. Under 30 to go here in the first. 10 to six, our score here at Whitco High School. McCarter and Clevenger just gonna work it a little bit, try to get down to the last second shot. Down to 15. McCarter has it. McCarter throws it out of bounds, but they, they do say it was tipped. And it'll be Rochester basketball. Coach Jordan not happy with one of his players. I think a little too much freelancing on defense. Yeah. McCarter gets the inbound now with 10 in the backcourt. She crosses the timeline, now with seven. Horn set. Down to Clevenger, stolen by Stonebreaker. Stonebreaker to the other end. Jamin lay up in the buzzer, good. And that will do it for the first quarter. Zebras with a two-point lead, 10 to eight on the Jennings or the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Back with the second quarter after this, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Zebras didn't foul at all that quarter. That's right, but uh, when your opponent shoots nothing but jump shots, that kind of <laughs> happens. But defensively, you never know when, you know, trying to play good defense, but Zebras able to get through that first quarter without any fouls, so might be able to play a little tighter here in the second quarter now. Yes. Whitco starts with the basketball. Bracconi has it over to Craig, her three. Yep, here she comes. We talked about Ella McCarter getting her feet set. You saw Craig get her feet set there. And now a one-point lead for Whitco, 11 to 10. And when she does, you're surprised when she misses. Diamond press put on by the Whitco Wildcats. Rochester just gets it across. Clevenger dribbles down into the corner. Now back up top at the volleyball line. She'll reset the offense. The thing I liked about Jameis Stonebreaker, she understands kind of that backside, covering the backside. We've seen you know, Drew Bowers do that for the Rochester yeah. boys. And when down low, it goes to field. We're going to be tied up. I think they're playing, Whitco's playing man, but Jameis Stonebreaker right now has not left uh, Ella McCarter's side. They get it into McCarter, and it's tipped by Stonebreaker, stolen by Reese Stonebreaker. Reese to the other end, running jumper, no good. Rebound fought for. Hunter has it, and Reese Stonebreaker ties it up. It'll stay with Whitco. Aubrey Wilson will check back in, and she'll come in for Jaden Field. 
It'll be Whitco basketball underneath their own basket. This is just about the best ball handling unit Rochester can put out there. Obviously, when you only have seven, there's Craig off the inbound, three on the way, no good. Rebound comes away to Clevenger. Now there, her feet weren't set. No. And it kind of knuckled off, kind of a knuckleball. McCarter shot. tries to split two defenders. Ball stolen, picked up by Whitco. Here's Chloe Craig with the basketball. Out to Howard. Howard brings it back up to Craig. They swing it left side. Now here's Jameis Stonebreaker. Drives the baseline, throws up a shot, no good. And here's the first foul of the afternoon for the Zebras. And that is going to come on Bollinger. Bollinger picks up her first. And now Jameis Stonebreaker to the line to shoot two free throws. Help side just a little late there. First one is good. 12 to 10. And Phillips comes back in as sitting down will be Reese Stonebreaker. Chloe Craig, the only senior listed on the varsity roster. Stonebreaker, Jama Stonebreaker, second free throw is good, and it's 13 to 10. Here comes the Zebras. Token pressure put on, now they look to trap at the half court. They get it out to McCarter. McCarter will dribble down to the block. McCarter, spin move, kicks it back out to Wilson. Feeder set, three on the way. A little too hard, and the rebound fought for, and we're gonna have another tie up. Great job that time by Bollinger to keep the ball alive, and the Zebras will have it underneath their basket. From a rebounding standpoint, I don't think Coach Burris has much to complain about, no. but it's uh, uh, Whitco just has Rochester's offense out of rhythm. 6.23 to go here in the second quarter. Zebras haven't scored yet this second quarter. Pass is stolen by Jamis Stonebreaker. To the other end, to Craig. Chloe penetrates, pulls up, no good. Howard with the rebound, up and good. Howard has six now, and it's 15 to 10. Biggest lead for Whitco of five. Here's Wilson, trapped at half court, tries to throw it away, does into the hands of Bracconi. Right hand layup, no good. Bracconi gets her own rebound as it was tipped by Phillips. And now we're going to have a foul on Rochester, and that's going to be on Hunter. That's going to be her first, team's second. Yes, you're right. They're just out of sync. Jaden Field will come back in. Hunter will sit down. Also for Whitco coming in will be Stonebreaker. Uh, Reese Stonebreaker as Chloe Craig will get a breather. Bracconi trying an ill-advised yeah. Euro step move. Into Howard off the inbounds is good. Howard's got eight. 17 to 10 now. Here's Wilson with the basketball. Now over to McCarter, top of the key. McCarter dribbles in, jump stops. Out to Clevenger, three on the way for Riley, good. Zebra's first point to the corner. And cuts the lead to four, 17-13, Whitco up. Five and a half to go before halftime. Phillips with the basketball, knocked loose by Clevenger, picked back up by Whitco. Here's Reese Stonebreaker, three on the way, too hard. Jamin Stonebreaker with the rebound. Gives it up to Reese, now back to Jamin, down in the corner, now to Phillips. Jamin has it. And we're gonna get a double dribble on Jamin Stonebreaker. Turnover number six for Whitco, nine for Rochester. And it, Coach Jordan is calling out the defense he wants. It looks like it's going to be a half court. Kind of waiting for the Zebras in a 2-1-2 at half court. Clevenger has it on the far side. Clevenger dribbles in, now reverses direction, gives it up to McCarter. McCarter brings it to the near side, now to Wilson. Bollinger calls for a screen. She gives it to Wilson. Now out to Clevenger, and we're going to have a foul, and it's going to be on Whitco, I believe. And Bracconi. Yep, it is on Bracconi, and that'll be her first, just the team's first of the quarter. I, I sense, again, we don't see a ton of Whitco girls basketball. I sense this is the way defensively that Coach Jordan has wanted to play, yeah. but he maybe hasn't had the personnel to quite do it. And now, now, now they're there, I think. Yeah, Craig comes in, Howard sits down. And they, they got a lot of long arms uh, and their guard unit. And that pass. Inbound stolen by Whitco. Here's Reese Stonebreaker with it. Kicks it back out. Stolen by Wilson. Good job by Aubrey Wilson to be in that passing lane. Wilson has it. Now to McCarter. McCarter will break it across the timeline, and Phillips is going to be called for the foul. It's going to be her first team second. Rochester's tried that long lob out of bounds pass, what, yeah. about three or four times, and it's been stolen every time. Gonna have to do better screens underneath. Get, 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 yeah, and and get come and open. meet the ball, yeah. and Riley Clevenger just did there. Clevenger has it on the far side. 
Clevenger, double team, gets it out down to McCarter. Mccarter, right side, dribbles to the middle. The give and go to Clevenger. She didn't realize oh it, goodness. but the ball came loose. Clevenger picks it up and gets the bucket. That is wow. <laughs> the luckiest basket Rochester will score this season. That's look what I found. Here's Phillips with it. Now to Craig. Chloe Craig back over to Phillips. Deep three for Phillips. Good. And we get a 30 second timeout by Whitco. That was a good. Five feet behind the line? Yep. 20-15 uh, with 4.08 to go here before halftime. A 30-second timeout by Whitco. First Federal Savings Bank. They don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best. Fulton County Best One Tire. The most important person to them is you. RTC Communications. Phone, cable, and Internet. Shepherd Chevrolet GMC of Rochester, where they always treat you like a family. Scoring update. Caston leads LaVille 14-7 at the end of the first quarter. 20 to 15 uh, here at Whitco High School. Coach Jordan with 30 second timeout. I'm guessing uh, changing some things that he wants here in that timeout. It'll be after the timeout, Zebra basketball underneath Whitco basket to come the distance. And uh, yep, Coach Jordan setting up in a full court, one, two, one, one. They get it to Wilson. Wilson over in the corner. Yeah, you got to keep that thing in the middle when they're trapping corners. Clevenger dribbles around it. Clevenger has it knocked loose by Perconi. Perconi right hand layup blocked by McCarter. Great defense by McCarter. Problem right now is Whitco's anticipating Rochester passes and getting in that passing lane. Right. I mean, again, Riley Clevenger's smart. She doesn't give up her dribble along the sidelines, but it leads to. Yeah. They can anticipate the pass. Perconi's very good at that. Craig into the middle, and she's going to be fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two as that whistle's coming against Bollinger. That's going to be her second. And now and Chloe Craig. is still moving again. But there they stopped it. 3.40 to go. Several seconds went off the clock between the time the foul was called and First free throw is good, and it's 21-15. Jameis Stonebreaker sets down, and Howard back in. Free throw, second one good for Craig. She's got five points, 22-15. Here's Zebras with a basketball. Not just with 11 turnovers already. Top of the keys, Clevenger down in the corner. Hottishell checking in during that free throw timeout there. So Mia's got the basketball, off to Wilson. Wilson, now to Clevenger. Clevenger, left side, now brings it back to the middle. They'll reset the offense. Looks like man for Whitco. Wilson with the basketball. Wilson dribbles into the paint, double team, clicks it out to Hottishell, into the corner to Riley. No good, and the rebound comes away to Reese Stonebreaker. Reese has it quickly ahead to Craig. Now to Phillips. Phillips, another deep three off the back of the iron. Clevenger with a rebound. Clevenger will bring it down. Clevenger has it. Clevenger now to Wilson. Wilson pull up jumper blocked by Howard. And Phillips with the rebound. That's Howard's third block. The give and go to Phillips down low, spin move, throws up a baby hook, no good. Rebound fought for, ball still loose, and we're going to have a whistle and a jump ball. It will stay with the Wildcats. Jama Stonebreaker coming back in. She'll replace Perconi. 2.31 to go here before halftime. 22-15 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. The Wildcats have a seven-point lead. Into Jameis Stonebreaker, three on the way for her. Off the mark, no good. Field with a big rebound. Jaden Field has it. Jaden throws it ahead and too far ahead. Clevenger can't go get it. Jaden's got to be confident enough there to take a couple dribbles to get herself away from right. all the the cluster of going on. Right. When you hear about playing with playing on two feet, yeah. that's what Coach Burris means. Uh, sometimes you have to take a dribble to get yourself to two feet. Whitco with the basketball, moving it around the horn, tipped by Wilson, and then they go after the ball, and she's going to cause a foul. Wilson's first, her team fourth. 
So with 2.09 to go, Whitco will shoot uh, free throws the rest of the way after the inbound it. Phillips looking to get it in. Does to Reese. Reese has it on the far side. Reese Stonebreaker now over to Jama. Jama brings it back up to the top at the volleyball line. Picks up her dribble. Now to Phillips. Down in the corner to Reese. Reese around field. Running jumper. Off the mark. No good. McCarter rips the rebound. And we're going to have a foul. And it's going to be on Phillips. Good job by McCarter. So that's going to be the team third and the second on Phillips. And Coach Jordan will go to the bench quickly and bring Bracconi back in. Phillips will sit down with two fouls. Phillips sits down with two fouls, three points here with under two minutes to go in the half. Interesting yeah. that Coach Jordan plays this style. He only plays six kids. This is a high energy yeah. style. This is down low to field. Field up off the glass, no good. Field gets her own rebound, kicks it out to Clevenger. Step back three on the way, too hard. Field battles for the rebound and has it again against Howard. This time she'll dribble, goes up off the glass, and a foul coming. Great job by Jaden Field. And that's going to be on Reese Stonebreaker, her first, team fourth. Jaden Field, a freshman on this team, has grown up tremendously since game one. The funny thing is, Jaden probably passed up an easier shot to kick out uh, Clevenger <laughs> for a three. Yeah. And then took a tougher shot and darn near made it. First free throw is good for Field. Field, second free throw, short. Ball's tipped and Reese Stonebreaker comes away with it. She'll keep it herself. Quickly ahead to Jama. Jama in the corner. Pull up five or ten footer, good. Jama Stonebreaker. She has eight. And it's 24-16. Hottishell quickly ahead to Wilson. Wilson has it on the near side. Now to Hottishell. Straight away three for Mia. Off the back there, no good. Bracconi with the rebound. Looking to push, and Bracconi picked it up too quick. She thought she was going to pass ahead, and I think a zebra defender got in the way, and she drug that back foot. Turnover, Whitco. That's try. Yeah, turnover, travel on Bracconi. Eight turnovers for Whitco. Out of show with the basketball in the paint to field. Field, turn around off the glass. Got the roll. Yeah. Nice shot by field. It's 25 18. Whenever field has or Craig, whenever field is being guarded by Craig, she's got to go up with it. Craig has her pass tipped. It'll go out of bounds. It'll stay with Whitco on the far side. Chloe Craig is listed as a guard. I, again, they don't list heights. What would you say her height is? Maybe 5'7". Uh, probably close. Jane's there. probably got three inches of height, and she's got a lot of bulk to her. Uh, Craig can't handle her in the post. Here's Jama with the basketball. Now off to Reese. Now to Chloe Craig. Craig back to Reese. 25 seconds to go before halftime. The pass from Jama right to Wilson. Aubrey Wilson with the basketball. Right hand layup up and good. Well, Wilson got the steal in the bucket, but the person who made the play defensively was Jaden Field, who got a hand on that pass. Down low to Howard. Howard has it, kicks it back out to Jama. Jama into the paint, and offensive foul. Jama Stonebreaker will pick up her second foul of the game. And she fell flat on her face, too. She kind of come up holding her mouth. It wasn't a lot of contact, but she was out of control, and so... Yeah, uh, you don't get the benefit of the doubt there, obviously. Uh. No, not when you're coming in as out of control as she was. Pass stolen by Whitco. Here's Craig with it at the buzzer, up and no good. And that's the half at halftime on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. It's Whitco 24, Rochester 20. Back with the Odell Lumber Halftime Show here from Whitco High School and Giant FM and RTC TV. We get ready to start the third quarter. Both teams back out on the floor. It'll be the original five for Rochester. Wilson, McCarter, Clevenger, Bollinger, and a field. And it appears to be the original five for Whitco as well. And Howard, Craig, Stonebreaker, Stonebreaker, and Phillips. Zebras have it. Clevenger with the basketball. Into McCarter at the top of the key. McCarter kicks it back to Clevenger left side. She'll fire a three off the mark. No good. Hard rebound comes high. Battled for it. And Bollinger comes away with it, but unfortunately travels as she's getting knocked around underneath there. It'll be going back to Whitco on the turnover. 
yeah, not enough for a foul to be called. Uh, no, they were just battling it up and yeah. kind of banging into each other. Whitco with their first possession of the third quarter. They go to Phillips on the far side. Howard sets a screen. Now it gives off to Reese. Reese over to Jama. Back up top to Reese. Reese Stonebreaker with a basketball for the Wildcats. Goes right side looking for Howard. Can't get it to her. Now goes to Jama and cuts through the middle. Back to Reese. Three on the way for her. Money. Reese Stonebreaker with her first three. And it's 27-20. Here comes Zebras. Full court press put on by the Wildcats. McCarter's pass is stolen. Here it is to Craig. Craig goes up, layup, no good, but a foul coming. She'll go to the line to shoot two. We're going to call it on Clevenger. It's going to be her first, team first, but Chloe Craig will go back to the line. She's got five points on the afternoon. She was two for two in the second quarter from the free throw line. Rattles that one home. 28-20. Whitco quickly in the first 56 seconds has doubled their lead. Hard off the back there, no good, and the rebound comes away to McCarter. McCarter has it, top the top. Now she'll give it up to Wilson. She'll bring it down the sideline around the defender into field, and field will be fouled, but it's gonna be on the floor, so it'll be out of bounds to Rochester. And that's going to be whistled against Stonebreaker. Jameis Stonebreaker. Her third, team first. So it'll be field to inbound. Nice J job by Aubrey Wilson. Jaden over the top. Wilson goes and gets it. Wilson now on the near side. Top of the key to Clevenger. Right side, here's McCarter. Deep three for Ella. Banks it in. The Banks open late on a Saturday. And it's 28-23. Well, Ella was really hunting that <laughs> shot. In fact, she was almost begging for the ball. Yeah. And almost got her kind of caught out of rhythm, but she wound up banking it in anyway. Phillips with the basketball top of the key. Now right side to Craig. Now to Jama. Jama on the far side. Oops, that's Reese. Reese has it. Now gives it up to Jama. Now over to Phillips. Right side now to Craig. Craig looking to go down low. Howard was left open, but good recovery by Bollinger. Tips it out of bounds. Howard was open on that back side. Whitco didn't see her in time, and by the time they did, Bollinger was able to recover. Yeah, yeah. Howard didn't make herself available. Like, right. She didn't, she didn't post yeah. up. She was just kind of, and you got to come to the ball. Raccone in, uh, Jameis Stonebreaker sets down. They get it into Craig. Craig to Phillips. Left side now to Bracconi. She'll fire a three. Rims it in. Bracconi, her first points of the game, and that makes it. 31-23 now, Whitco with the biggest lead of the game. Wilson is tied up, and Coach will take a timeout. Coach Burris calls a timeout, and it is a full timeout. We'll take one as well with 5.57 to go here in the third. It's 31-23, Whitco on top on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Wilson will inbound for Rochester. She gets it into Clevenger. Clevenger in the backcourt now dribbles it across the timeline. Clevenger looks to go to the near side. Clevenger now to Bollinger, to McCarter. McCarter, jump stops, kicks it out to Wilson, drives in, jumper on the way, good for Wilson. Aubrey Wilson with four points. Yeah, shot it off two feet there. Phillips tosses it down low to Craig. Craig tries to go to Bracconi, she almost loses it. Ball's tipped away, picks it back up. Goes up, no good. Howard comes away with the rebound. Ball's loose again, and we're going to have a tie-up between Howard and Wilson, and it'll stay with Widco. 5.20 to go here in the third. 31-25. Boy, both teams realizing this is a big game, the way they were getting after it on the floor yeah. there. Inbound they, comes in. They know what this game means. To Phillips, she goes back to Reese. Now back to Phillips. To Craig. Craig on the near side. Craig, or Phillips, that's his three-pointer on the way. No good. And Bullinger with another rebound. She'll give it up to McCarter. McCarter will come ahead to Wilson. Wilson will get it across the timeline. Wilson to field. Down low against Howard. Field and a foul coming as Howard goes for the block, and she uh, knocked it out of Field's hands, and Field will go to the line to shoot two. Boy, you look. 
you like to see that. Instead of trying to float one over Gwen Howard, she put a shoulder right yeah. into Gwen's chest. And free throws missed by Field. Free throws important in this contest. It's only a six point game right now. And Rochester just one of three so far. Two for four now. And all of them are coming from Jaden Field. 31-26, quickly down to Howard, over to Bracconi. Try, they try to go to Craig, knocked loose by Bollinger, picked up by Bollinger. Audrey Bollinger has been everywhere in this second half. Hasn't scored a ton of points in this game, but she has been very active. Wilson, top of the key to Clevenger, left side, now to McCarter. She'll drive the paint. McCarter, jump stops, kicks it back out to Clevenger. Clevenger, top of the key to Wilson, three on the way for her, good. Wilson's got five in the quarter, seven for the game. And it's 31-29, cut to a two-point Whitco lead. Yeah, I was just going to say, I thought Phyllis may have gotten away with a foul there. And Wilson gets a foul as she runs Craig over. And it's going to be Aubrey Wilson's second foul. I thought Phillips fouled Ellen McCarter, but it worked out perfectly. As Aubrey Wilson got on giving an open look for three. Jamis Stonebreaker comes back in. Bracconi will sit down. Whitco inbounds it to Howard. Elbow jumper, set shooter, and it's off. And the rebound comes away to the Zebras. Here comes McCarter. Quickly ahead to Wilson. Wilson on the far side. Wilson cross court pass to Clevenger. Clevenger trying to get it down low. Bollinger wants the ball at the block. They got to get it to her. She's guarded by Phillips. Bollinger did a great job posting up. Zebras could not get it to her. Wilson straight away three again off the Ooh, front of the that iron. That was a wide open look. That was a horn set, and then they ran Aubrey behind that horn set. Good play call by Coach Burris. Craig open for three. It comes off the bottom of the rim, and Jameis Stonebreaker saves it off of McCarter's foot. It'll be Whitco basketball. <laughs> Coach Burris almost dove underneath his chair there. 31 That, is, that was frustrating because you get Craig to take a bad shot. Phillips from the elbow, no good. And Field with another rebound. Big time rebound by Jaden Field in traffic to beat Howard. To Bollinger. Bollinger throws it ahead to Wilson, but too far ahead. And it goes out of bounds. Turnover number 15 for Rochester. Right idea, but just a little too hard. I'm sensing Whitcomb might be a little tired here. Yeah. Well, they've been running six, and they've been pretty hot and heavy. But, of course, Rochester running six as well. There's a Phillips three-pointer, no good. McCarter with the rebound. McCarter double-teamed in the backcourt. She'll get ahead to Clevenger. She'll bring it across to Wilson. Wilson going to the paint, pull-up jumper, no good, but a foul coming. And I believe they're going to get Howard on that one as well. And they do. Howard's second team third of the quarter. And now Aubrey Wilson for her first free throws of the afternoon. She's got seven points on the day. Well, the final score to report in girls basketball. Tri-County has defeated Pioneer today 50-33. to Wilson misses her first one. Pioneer will be at McConaughey on Tuesday night. Okay. Take on Coach Davis' this team. Second one for Wilson. It's up and short off the front of the iron. Rebound to Jameis Stonebreaker. Stonebreaker has it. She brings it across the timeline. Stonebreaker going right down the middle. Runs into Bollinger, throws up a shot, no good. Bollinger with a rebound. It's knocked out of Bollinger's hands, but it'll stay with the Zebras. Great defense by Audrey Bollinger helping out her teammate. And that is four rebounds this half for Aubrey and unofficially five for the game. They get it in. Whitcope putting some pressure on the backcourt. Stonebreaker against McCarter, now over to Wilson. Wilson's double team. Picks up by Bollinger on a loose ball. Goes to field, and it's going to be last touched by field. It'll be Whitco basketball. Not a good angle for that pass from Bollinger to field. She waited too late to make the pass. Yeah. Uh, if she had. Still trying to find out. It's a 30 second timeout with 2.21 to go. Zebras trail by 2, 31 29 here at Whitco High School. Don't forget about Fulton County REMC. They making tomorrow making a better tomorrow since 1936. Smith Farm Store, serving farm and home since 1971. 
Smith, Sawyer & Smith Insurance, Insurance Bonds and Wealth Management, Jennings Insurance, and Argus and Rochester going beyond the expected for you. Fulton County Solid Waste District, don't trash our future, please recycle, and by Pulaski Memorial Hospital, connecting you with excellent health care providers. Final score today in that dual meet was Rochester 46 and Adams Central 24. Okay. So 51-26 over Prairie Heights, 57-24 over Cowan and 46-24 over Adam Central to win a state championship for Coach Guard and the Zebras. 2.21 to go here at Whitco High School in the third quarter. 31-29. Zebras trail by two. Bullinger gets it into Wilson. Wilson back to McCarter in the middle. Now they go to right side to Clevenger. Ball's tipped, picked up by Clevenger. Clevenger goes back to McCarter. They're going to have to hurry and get it across. Clev or McCarter just does and gets it to Clevenger. Clevenger on the far side. Riley has it. She'll bring it back to the top and reset the zebra offense. Two minutes to go in the third. Screen by Bollinger. Out to McCarter. McCarter into the paint. Out to field. 15-foot jumper. Short. Howard with the rebound. Howard has it. He'll take that shot most of the time. And down. They kick it out to Stonebreaker. To Howard. Another set shot. And up and good. When Howard has double digits, she has 10 down, and they've extended the lead back to four. McCarter to Clevenger, gets it across the timeline. And then Phillips is going to pick up her third foul, and it's going to be the team fourth of the quarter. It'll be out of bounds to Rochester as Bracconi comes back in. And that wasn't a foul that Whitco was committing earlier in the game, but they're again, they're a little tired, a little late on their footwork. And sitting down will be Howard. Field will sit down as Hottishell comes in. Here is McCarter with the basketball. McCarter throws it across court over to Wilson. That was dangerous. I gave up her dribble too early. Wilson has it. Now over to Clevenger. Top the key to Hottishell. Pass to McCarter on the left wing. McCarter, spin move, up and short. Rebound comes away to Bracconi. Bracconi gives it off to Craig. Craig will bring it across the timeline back to Bracconi. Back to Craig, left side now to Reese. Stonebreaker, three on the way for her, no good. Gets her own rebound, back up, no good. And Clevenger with a rebound. Clevenger will have it. Again, Whitco presses even off a missed shot. Yeah, they're putting some token pressure you at least. You don't see many teams do that. Trying to get the Zebras to make a bad pass. They go down low to Bollinger, and she travels. Turnover, Rochester. Yeah, that's a, little, that's a bad habit that Audrey has, and she'll, she'll eventually get over it. Look, kind of the pitter-pat of the feet when she catches it in the post. Castings up 37-17, up 20 as the end of the third against LaVille. One more quarter to go, and Caston will win the H-net. Here is Whitco with it with 25 seconds to go in the quarter. Jama with the basketball. Now to Bracconi. Bracconi at the top, the key. Clevenger comes out and gets Rochester in her grill. Rochester with two fouls to give. Bracconi, two, foot was on the line, and a rebound comes away to McCarter. McCarter off to Clevenger with eight seconds. Clevenger to Hottishell. Hottishell with four. Back to Clevenger with two. Clevenger will fire at the buzzer. Short. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Zebras trail 33-29 here at Whitco High School. Fourth and final quarter on the way. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Zebra basketball to start the, start the fourth and final quarter. Wilson gets it into McCarter. She'll get it back from McCarter. She'll bring it across the timeline, set the offense. Left side to Clevenger. To Hottishell. Three, right corner. Off the mark, no good. And they wanted to call a foul, but he didn't. His field got away with one. Quickly ahead to Craig. Craig to Stonebreaker. That's Jama. Jama has it. Cross court pass now to Chloe Craig. Three on the way for her. Good. Three 36-29. McCarter across the timeline with the basketball on the far side to Wilson. Back to McCarter. It's a maker. Wilson. It's a maker miss league. Rochester misses a three. Whitco makes a long one. Again, well, Whitco's, their, their tempo has slowed down. Yeah. They're definitely, they've lost some energy that, that they, from the start of the game, but. Kick basketball will allow that clock to stop and Bollinger to check back in. Hottishell will sit down. 
So Wilson will inbound in front of the Zebra bench. 7.05 to go here in the fourth. 36-29. Coach Burris has used all seven players today, but probably a little less of the bench today than yeah. maybe previous games. Here is Wilson with it. Out to Clevenger. Clevenger to McCarter. McCarter sees an opening, drives it into the paint. Pull up jumper, good. Nicely done, a little pass fake. Just gave her enough space to get her shot off. 36-31, a steal by McCarter on the other end. McCarter with the basketball to Clevenger. Clevenger, left side. Gives it off to McCarter in the corner. She'll fire the three, got it. McCarter with a big three and it's 36-34. Cut to two is the lead for the Wildcats. Here's Craig, Craig's pass, tip loose, picked up by Bracconi. Bracconi to Craig, to Howard. Turnaround jumper, no good. Field with a rebound. And Bracconi's gonna foul field. Bracconi gonna pick up her second team first of the quarter. Phillips will come back in and Bracconi will sit down. Can anything outside of about two feet from the basket, Gwen Howard's not totally comfortable. No. No, no, when you're a set shooter like that, yeah, you you don't get, the closer you are, the, the worse it is. And she had her head turned just for a moment and yeah. I think lost her kind of a, her perspective of the basket from where she was. Clevenger in the corner, loses the basketball. Somehow Field gets it. Field has it knocked loose from the behind by Reese. Oof. And that'll be out of bounds. Riley, Cleven Riley Clevenger was the meat in a stonebreaker sandwich there. <laughs> and it was able to somehow get it to Field. I don't know how she did. 5.54 to go in the fourth. 36-34, Whitco leads by two on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. They get it in to McCarter, 15-footer, good. <laughs> Ella McCarter, give her that rock, she's hot. Tied at 36. Here's Boy, Whitco Jana. just lost Ella McCarter in an inbounds play. To Reese, blocked partially by Bollinger, picked up by McCarter. McCarter, now to Clevenger. Four, four rebounds is half for Ella. She'll get it across the timeline. Now to Wilson. Wilson drives the, drives the lane and now gonna foul against. That's gonna be on Chloe Craig, her first, team second. Again, that's a tired foul, just a push yeah. in the hip right in front of the official. I'm really surprised Coach Jordan hasn't called a timeout yet. Here is Field to inbound. Field gets it in, throws it away. It's gonna be out of bounds to Whitco. Turnover number 18 for Rochester. That's compared to 12 turnovers by Whitco and 36, 36. That was a that was a panicky pass. Maybe you're thinking, you know, four seconds or five seconds. Here's Reese with the basketball into the corner to Craig. Craig, three on the way. Good. And there's the timeout by Coach Jordan. And it's 39 to 36. Three-point lead. It's a 60. We'll take it as well. 5.15 to go here in the contest. Giant FM, RTC, TV4. And she has scored, uh, what, seven of their 15 points this half. And that was, yeah. I mean, that's just a shot that big players take and make. That corner three that she just made. Zebras have the entire floor to go after the timeout. Wilson has it. Wilson then is going to be tied up against Phillips. It's going to be a turnover as it's Whitco basketball on the arrow. Here is Whitco now to inbound. Inbounding will be Reese. She inbounds it to Jama. The Stonebreaker sisters have it now to Reese. Back to Jama. Top of the key. Jama will dribble to the left side. Now go to Phillips. Phillips has it. Phillips against Clevenger. Phillips brings it back over to Jama. Back to Phillips. She'll fire a three. Five foot behind the line. No good. Howard gets the rebound. Goes back up. No good. But a foul coming. And that will send Gwen Howard to the free throw line. And that foul is on, on a Bollinger, her third team first of the quarter. Gwen Howard with 10 points, and this will be her first opportunity at the free throw line. No good on the first one. Well, that's frustrating because Rochester's done a good job on the defensive boards this half, but missed a box out on Gwen Howard there. Howard short on the first one, McCarter with the rebound. Is it? Two tired looking free throws. Here's Clevenger, quickly to Wilson, right side. Back to Clevenger, top the key. Clevenger against Jama. 
Levager. Good job by Jama going over the and screen. And the pass stolen by Reese. Quickly ahead to Jama. Left hand layup, no good, but McCarter commits a foul. And Jama will go to the line to shoot two. McCarter's first and the team's second. Now Jama Stonebreaker with eight points herself at the line to try to get into double digits. Well, that was just a great defensive effort by Jama Stonebreaker. She beat the screen, essentially. Just went over the top of it. That ball was almost in and decided to roll out. 39-36, still our score. Make it 40-36 after the second free throw by Jama. 4.25 to go here in the fourth. Zebras get it across the timeline. Here's Clevenger with it. Now to Wilson. Now to McCarter. She'll fire a three off the mark. No good. And the rebound comes to Reese. And she's going to be fouled. And that's going to be on Bollinger, her fourth. And then just the team third. So Bollinger's got to be careful here. She was important there in that second quarter. They need her, or the third quarter. Want to get a paint touch. To Howard, to Craig. Craig over the top to Phillips, back to Craig. Coach Jordan says, bring it out. Craig has the basketball. Now to Phillips. Phillips against Clevenger. Dribbles in, and she's going to get fouled. And that's going to be fouled against Wilson. Her third, team fourth. So it'll be out of bounds on the far side to Whitco. I just want to correct myself. That Pioneer McConaughey game on Tuesday will be at Pioneer. Okay. Thanks, Coach Davis, for listening. <laughs> Always appreciate Coach Davis listening. Here's Jameis Stonebreaker with the basketball. Now Whitco taking some time, running some time off the clock, going to make the Zebras chase a little bit as they have a four-point lead with three and a half to go. Phillips with the basketball. Now to Jameis. Into Craig. Craig to Howard. Howard loses it off her foot. Out of bounds. Turnover, Whitco. Zebras will have it underneath the Whitco basket. Whitco, full court pressure. They get it into Wilson. Back to McCarter in the middle. Right side now to Clevenger. Clevenger to McCarter. McCarter will dribble right down the middle. Gets across the timeline. Now gives it off to Clevenger. Three on the way. She rushed that one, and it was tipped. Uh, out front, the official says. So it'll be Zebra basketball underneath her basket. You can get that shot anytime in the possession. Yeah. Get a paint touch first and then a kick out, and then that'll be a much more open look. Clevenger will inbound it this time. She gets it into Bollinger. She dribbles it out, hands it back to Clevenger. Clevenger into the paint, running jumper, good. A little floater that time by Riley Clevenger. She's in double digits with 10. Two point Whitco lead, 40 38. Down low to Phillips. Phillips kicks it back out to Craig, and she'll dribble back out, give it off to Stonebreaker. Back to Craig, stolen by Field. Field with a steal down to Clevenger. Zebras trail by two, 2.40 to go here in the fourth. McCarter dribbles into the paint, throws up a shot, no good. Battle for the rebound and jump ball. It'll be Zebra basketball. Jaden Field, another rebound. Zebras want a timeout. It's a 60 with 2.35 to go here on the Rochester Glass Scoreboard. Whitco 40, Rochester 38. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV 4. Wilson over the top to McCarter. McCarter top the key, back to Wilson, left side. Fakes it, dribbles in, now kicks it to McCarter. McCarter at the volleyball line will reset the offense. Field sets the screen. They hand it off to Clevenger, now to Wilson. Wilson, pull up jumper, and she's going to be fouled by Craig. And that's her second, team third, but that will send Aubrey Wilson to the line to shoot two. Nice job to get a ball reversal. Uh, good call by Coach Burris out of the huddle there. Got to hit the free throws now. And Aubrey missed two earlier. That one's good. 40-39. Wilson has another one. Rochester going to win a Huge game in this gym eight years ago back in 2016 when that was a great Whitco team with Allie Rife. Obviously, we know about Becky and Alexa and those girls, but there was no guarantee they'd win this game here. Missed, and a rebound to field. Goes back up, no good, and the rebound comes away to Whitco. Here's Jama Stonebreaker with the basketball. Now to Craig. Jama has it back. Here on the near side, Jama over the top and partially deflected by 
field into the hands of Wilson, stolen by Stonebreaker. Ahead to Chloe Craig, to Reese. Left hand layup, good. Reese with just her fifth point of the contest. 42-39, a three point lead with under two to go. It'll stay with Rochester as it was kicked out of bounds by Reese Stonebreaker. 21 turnovers for Rochester in this game. Ugh. And you still are only down three. Here is Whitco putting the pressure on Rochester in the backcourt. McCarter gets it across, but it's stolen by Reese. Quickly ahead to Craig. Knocked loose by McCarter, picked up by Riley Clevenger. Clevenger will clear and let everybody get in front of her so she can see what's going on. Now she hands it off to Wilson. There's a tip by Stonebreaker, and the ball's going to roll out of bounds. Last touch by Jama. She's just got quick hands. A young freshman. She's going to be a good yeah, one for Whitco. Yeah, we get to Whitco. see Jama Stonebreaker and Aubrey Wilson battle it out for three more years <laughs> after this year. Wilson will inbound. Wilson looking to get it in. Does to Clevenger. Clevenger then dribbles on the out-of-bounds line. Yes, she did. Turnover, Rochester. That was Jama again. And Bracconi will come in, and Howard will sit down. A final from Caston, 46-19. The Caston Comets defeat LaVille and win the H-Snack undefeated, 7-0. Second straight year they've done that. So congratulations to Coach Douglas and the Caston Lady Comets. There's Coach Jordan wants a timeout, a 30-second timeout with a minute 21, 42-39 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. We'll keep it here and set things up for you. That is uh, two timeouts now remaining as Hunter will check in to the Rochester lineup. We'll wait and see who she's going to replace as we are down to the final minute 21, Val. Free throw is important. If you get to the free throw line, you've got to close out. You've got to beware because I think Coach Jordan's trying to make you come foul them and, and with their guard play that they've had, they can take some time off the clock. Right. And um, again, I, I think the Stonebreakers have kind of given them a second wind a little bit yep. here. So Bollinger sets down. She has four fouls. And uh, excuse me, Hunter come in. Here's Phillips with it. Back to Jama. Jama has the basketball back to Phillips, back to Jama. Right here in front of us, they're just waiting on Rochester to foul him, and now they throw it over the top, stolen by Field. Coach Jordan not happy with the freshman. Clevenger dribbles clear over to the far side, over the top to Wilson. Wilson to Hunter. Hunter throws up a shot, good to foul. That's good. What a pass by Aubrey Wilson to set her up. That foul is called on Bracconi, her third. Now Hunter at the free throw line trying to tie this thing up again. Again, it's kind of a feast or famine defense. Missed a free throw. And Stonebreaker with the rebound, quickly down the floor, knocked out of bounds by McCarter. 42-41, 53.5 seconds to go. Neither team has a foul to give. Here they get it in to Stonebreaker. Now up top to Jama, Jama to Craig. You, you don't have to foul yet. To Phillips, Phillips to Craig. You can try to read that, and, and now well, Hunter will foul. Well, that's what Coach Burris wanted. And that will put Chloe Craig back to the line. Chloe Craig, three for four on the day. I trust that Coach Burris knows Chloe Craig's free throw info better than I do. So Hunter he, with the second foul. Free throw, good by Craig. <laughs> Uh, Howard will come in, Bracconi will sit down. 43-41, back to two-point lead. Craig will try to push it to three with the free throw. Misses it. Howard rebound, throws off a shot, no good, but a field is going to be fouled, or field will foul Howard, and she'll go back to the line. Jaden Field, an all-day long battle, and that's just her first foul of the day. And now Howard will go back to the line where she's 0 for 2. And I'll make it 1 for 3 if she makes the first one. 44-41, back to a three-point lead. Howard will have a second one. Howard, good that time. And we have a timeout by Coach Jordan. It's a full timeout. 41.4 seconds to go. 45-41, Whitco on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Back with the final 
40 seconds right after this. Giant FM and RTC TV4. It'll be inbounded by Hunter. I'm more interested in what does Coach Jordan want to do here defensively. I guess he's not going to He's not going back the course. down. He's not going to be, yeah. Diamond pressure put on. McCarter has the basketball in the middle of the court. McCarter gets it across. McCarter to Clevenger. Clevenger to Hunter. Hunter fakes a three. Now off to Clevenger. Near side now to McCarter. McCarter back to Clevenger. 25 seconds to Hunter. They got to go down low to Field. Field's posting up. Howard can't get it to her. Three on the way for Clevenger. No good. Rebound to Stonebreaker. Stonebreaker with the rebound ahead to Phillips. Phillips will dribble it back out. Phillips has the basketball. Now off to Jama. And the Whitco Wildcats are going to hold on and win this as they run the clock out with three seconds to go. And finally a foul by Wilson on Jama with 2.4 seconds to go. I think Zebras let a little much, a little too much time run off there before they committed the foul. Well, that, well you could say that, but that was partly because the Whitco was moving the yeah. ball around so well. Free throw, good by Jama. 46-41. Well, this result will draw a cheer in Walton, Indiana tonight because Lewis Cass is right back in the conference mix. The miss and field with a rebound, and that's going to do it. The Zebras lose their first TRC matchup of the year. Drop to 5-1. and one. Whitco improves to 5-1. And, and Cass sitting at 3-0. and oh, And they got the Zebras coming up next week. So Whitco becomes a big fan of Rochester now to beat Lewis Cass yes. next week. We'll yes. talk more about that in the postgame. The final, 46-41. Whitco defeats Rochester here on the Rochester Glass Scoreboard. The Odell, or excuse me, the... Perkins and Adley postgame show coming up right after this timeout. <laughs> 